Hello, I am excited to be on with a bunch of you today. I am starting. Welcome to the chat. Learn more. All right. So I'm going to start sharing with you that it's important that I have uh, opportunities for me to share with you and talk with you along with just um, painting by myself here, knowing that you're out there watching, but I'm, I'm thrilled to have you. I want to say, say something, come join me. Let's see. All right. So make sure guys that you post something. So I know that you're out there to so say, hi, tell me where you're from. I, I love doing the lives with you guys and see what's going on. Hey, it worked. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Nicholas. Thank you for coming on. I am um, going to paint a fun project today. And I just wanted to come out here and, and um, share with you guys. Having somebody out there to talk to is really nice. I'd love to see what y'all want to see next. Um, hello from India. Hello. What time is it there? <laughs> Hi, Cindy. And um, tell me hi, Farheen. Hello, hello, hello. So I have been sharing lots of different painting recently. Hello from Michigan and Idaho. My daughter, two daughters have gone to school in Idaho and BYU, Idaho. Gloria Smith, hello, honey. I just saw pictures of you and your hubby, hubby recently. And Pat, we miss you. Um, so it's so good to see you. I would like to see you. <laughs> hey, Katie. And let's see, let's see. New Mexico, hello, hello. That's where you're from, Katie. I keep forgetting that. Um, so, so glad to see you. You're in New York. Okay. That's awesome. And Karen, hello, Lisa from Massachusetts. I love, I'm probably saying that was funny. I've got that Southern accent. Hello from Virginia. Um, so I, um, we're sharing a couple of things. I don't know if y'all saw my shirt. I've got, I showed the shirt earlier, but I want you to see that the, the shirt's got my wreath that's right here behind me. See that? And it comes in all kinds of colors. And so it's really fun. Hello, Lorraine. How are you? I'm going to put it here so maybe I can see at the same time. Um, I was told, my daughter said, you're not holding yourself right <laughs> the way I'm looking. So hello from Ohio and South Carolina. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, Lee and Osley. Did you see that you won something? And I just want you to know that. Make sure you tell me which one you want. Hello, Miss Karen. YouTube channel. Hello from Washington State. Woohoo. That's listen from Florida. When I had my son there, I said, How much further? I know there's further, but how much further could you be from Florida all the way to Washington State? So Oh, y'all started out with thumbs up. I'm happy, happy. So if you haven't subscribed, I'm going to remind you all the time we're on here because it tells me crazy things. It says on the, you know, analogy or, you know, um, tell me what's going on my site. It says that less than half of you subscribe, even though you come on and watch. So please subscribe. It doesn't hurt you. <laughs> it doesn't cost you. If you subscribe, it helps me. So if you subscribe and then make sure you ding for the notifications, click ring the bell. And then that means it'll say Donna's on and you can turn me off too, if you want to. Hello from Norway. I love that we can get so many countries on here all at once. I love, love, love that. All right. So we've got, hello, Cindy, Cindy, Cindy Murphy and Cindy Moffat, two Cindy's. That's awesome. All right. So I'm going to start painting in just a minute. I'm going to do a topiary. I like topiary. So I'm going to do another topiary. There's so many you could do. I'm doing um, new products, every new videos on the first of every month. 
um, the first day usually. For this year, they're called Hometown and they're Donna Dewberry with uh, Plaid Crafts. So the company's Plaid Crafts and it says Donna Dewberry. And go check it out. Every month they have a flower of the month. Every month they have a wreath of the month. And this year I'm having, along with those, I'm having hometown. So it's all about hometown. It's the churches and the barn on the farm and all kinds of a bike on a bike ride. There's all kinds of fun stuff there. So go check it out. Hello from Canada, Heather. Um, and so those are free. You can just watch it. And if you ever want any of the kids to learn to paint with me, go to one stroke all written out.com. So it's really easy. One stroke.com. I have my own line of brushes. I have wonderful paint that, that we're going to be using today. We have multi-surface paint, multi-surface. All the labels are a little bit different these days because we're still struggling from COVID, but it still is the same paint. All right. Gilbert. Hello. Hello. I was wondering if you're coming on Gilbert. All right. So it's from Norway. Thank you for being on. First time I've gotten on live stream. Woo! -hoo! Thank you. Thanks for coming on. I love it. I love it when you're here. We had a really good live last time. And I was sitting here on a rainy, rainy day in Florida. And we were going to go on a ride today because I was supposed to be at the paint company doing videos and they changed the week. So I've got a, another big painting. You know, y'all see this painting back here that big oversized painting. Look at this painting over there. See that big painting? That's really big, bright colors. I'm getting ready to teach that next week right here in my studio. All right. So, um, so I have a lot of you that love oversized <laughs> and I have a new arm and guess what this arm is doing? It's going up and down. The springs are too tight. <laughs> so I'm having a problem keeping it down with me. Uh, so let me make sure everybody that's talking to me, thank you for the thumbs up, your thumbs up before we even see what we're doing, but that's okay. I'm going to show you Christina. Hello. Hello. Okay. So, um, are you ready to paint? I uh, thought I would take on a canvas today and I'll get a pencil and we'll draw some and let's see how long you guys can paint with me or watch me before you leave. That's important. That helps us see what you like the most. How do you create those large emphasis using the one stroke technique? So I use, a, I have big brushes that are like big like this. They're inch and a half. And look, believe it or not, these do it because we're going on the outside and then I'm going up and down, up and down, filling it in. It's great. I even had those on onestroke.com. If you want to go and look at oversized flowers, we do all kinds of oversized flowers that way. And I did put a little video clip, um, I think on Friday on um, strokes, uh, practice strokes, uh, look for an oversized pedal. And I showed how to do that. If not, it's all relaxing paint. So you have to check it out. Be sure also, I want to remind you to check out my store with all my new shirts and blankets. And so I've taken both of these oversized paintings and I put them on fleece blankets. They're 80 inches big. They are amazing. It covers an entire nine foot sofa almost. It's crazy. And they're fun and warm and fuzzy. And sometimes on a rainy day like this, it's still nice to have. All right. And you can wear my relaxing paint shirts. We're trying, we're having a campaign to see who buys my 25 year wreath or my relax and paint, which is the one you like the most. I have hoodies and everything. All right. Sounds like a big commercial. I just like to share with you. So some people don't even know I have a store now. Hello, Miss Jane. I am so missing you at our, our local studio. It, as we call our, our uh, class, the campers guys, because they camp out and never leave. And I hope you camp out and don't leave the painting today. See how long you can stay on here. Okay. And please let me know if you like what we're doing today. Um, hello. Hello. Good morning. I hope you enjoy. I'm enjoying <laughs> painting with you instead of having a dark, dreary day. How does that sound? 
And you can see I got a mess in my studio. Look, everywhere you look, there's something going on. All right. But let's start painting. Sound good? All right. So let's get down here. I don't want to make you too dizzy. But the white canvas, stop. I need it to stay in one place. And it keeps sliding up. Okay. So there we go. All right. So what I want to do is I want to do a container. All right. So I'm taking my pencil and I'm going right off the bottom. So I'm going to, what worries me, stop it, stop it, stop it. This, this little guy is making it terrible for me. But I'm not complaining. It's a good day, right? Need ideas for seeing simple greeting cards while on Relax and paint. I've been putting in some simple, fun little strokes, okay, for greeting cards, and I'll keep working on that, okay? Uh, toggle back and forth. Okay, I'll let you go back and forth. <laughs> All right, Linda McDonald from Ireland. Hello, that's where some of my ancestors came from, right? All right, you love my lavender brushes. Thank you. Those are my signature brushes. All right, so there's the base. So my base is about four fingers on here, and that's blurry. Let me tell you what I'm going to do. I am going to put some black behind it because I did some filming earlier, and it was not focusing. But if I put this black, it kind of helped it focus, right? All right. So let's see if that helps us get there. All right. I gave it something to focus on, I think. All right, I guess I do want to be higher so you see what we're going to do. All right. All right, so let's do our topiary in here. And I'm going to do a round. Oh, what about a heart? You can do a round or a heart, so you guys decide. I'm going to do this really dark pencil. And when you do it, you don't need a dark pencil, okay? You're listening from work. Don't get in trouble working, guys. Uh, practice makes perfect. That's right. So there we go. So just kind of sketch what you want. All right. A round or a heart. All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three-quarter inch brush. I've got floating medium in the middle of my double loader. The double loader, remember, has a lid. And you can close up your stuff. And you open this up and you dampen your sponge. And the sponge keeps everything wet, moist. And then oh, there we go. Here's one that I just painted today that goes on next week because I'm going to be out of town. So come learn how to do that next week. Right. So I don't want to be a bit commercial, but I want to share with you how much fun I'm having with you guys. You can't see the bottom, please. OK, there we go. There we go. Yes. All right. So. I do have this black on there because it kind of helped focus it. There we go. I think we're on, except I get a little bit more of a shadow. There we go. Let's pull it down towards me, which means I got to bring this this way. There we go. All right. So I'm going to I'm going to go into the medium and grab the burnt umber and coffee latte. All right. Let me know if you're happy with what I'm going to do today. I'm going to take and make a loose, loose, loose wreath. All right. So winding it around. And this is a little dry because this paper is canvas paper. And I no, it's not. That's what I painted on earlier. This was canvas paper. I don't know if y'all can see the texture. It's a canvas paper. All right. But this is a canvas. It's just a white canvas. All right. So I am standing up. If you have a hard time, I'm standing up on the chisel. But if you have a hard time doing this, guys, be sure to use your angle brush because that angle brush will give you really nice and loose little vines all right so i like the hearts thank you uh thank you ziva that's very nice of you i love to read your comments uh, if i don't see them all now i promise 
I go back and read them. And please just remember, as you're painting, you can come back, you can stop the video, come back and watch it again. And that will help you get through the class, all right? So there we go. Be sure that you put likes and share and let me know what you want next. I do have a lot of you. I've been listening. People ask for orchids. And I, on um, TikTok, I just went to almost 2 million on doing a hibiscus. And they liked it so much, which was fun to see 19, 1.9 million so far. And I had 30 something thousand people became my friend over just one little four days. Okay, so there's the trunk of the, what am I doing? <laughs> a vine wreaths are one of my favorite to paint because look, they're loosey goosey, they're easy. I just put these two colors, coffee latte, dark brown, light brown, and then I crisscrossed on there and there we go. All right, oh, guess what I forgot, darn it. All right. I forgot. I'm going to go ahead and do this and see if I can kind of improvise. I forgot to put the blue background I wanted. <laughs> All right. So I'm so busy talking to you guys. I'm not thinking about what I'm doing. I need to stay focused. Are you guys having a good day? I think today is a great day to share something you love with friends. And I love my, my painters that paint with me makes me happy when I'm down I can get on and I just wish I could actually hear your voices but it's really awesome to see your comments because it keeps me going uh Susie Flowers hello you remember doing this one with me huh yeah well we're gonna do probably a different one than we did but it is fun because you can put any flower on here that you want right but somebody used to come with you, Susie. Was it a sister or to my classes? I was trying to remember. Okay, so. All right. Now, before I put, see the little highlights I put there? Was that kind of easy and fun? Fairly getting better. Jennifer, your friend. That's right. That's right. Okay, so. This is what I'm going to do. I'm going to just flip flap around, do some white and some cobalt. Let's make it light with white and let's see, and some medium. So I like to sponge my background, but you guys, thanks for <laughs> not giving up with me on me because I am just going to come around. Let me get this edge first. I just messed it up a little bit. And this edge here. The problem is with this kind of reef, it doesn't work so well. I'm just going to go slip, slap, slip, slap. And get some blue in here. Now, a lot of other artists do it this way. I like to have it behind. So I'm frustrated with myself. But we're going to be good, right? Are you still going to have a good time? Yes? No? Tell me with hand thumbs up if you're going to have a good time anyway. Italy! Woohoo! Thank you! Uh, with orchid blossoms and one of your strokes. I do. I just did orchid an orchid not too long ago, but I will do some more orchids because I've done all kinds of orchids. All right. So this is the cobalt with some white. And this is not how you do this. <laughs> this is how you do it if you forgot to do it. But see how fast that brown dried. So I'm just going to go over that. The thing that um, I'm showing you is that there are no mistakes and then you can go right over it and do some melts and just enjoy. Okay. I have a new paint called pure that acts like it looks like oil paints, but it's not, it's acrylic and it's pure pigmented colors. <coughs> and I did certifications and taught all week last week. And I worked till Saturday through Saturday and took people to the airport. So today I'm doing some relaxing and painting with you guys. How does that sound? I'm not going to do the bottom, but I want you to see 
watch this slip slap slip slap back forth back and forth back and forth all right so bear with me i'm gonna put some of the the uh wreaths back the color back in for the wreath okay more 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 y'all ready for more okay I'm trying to see how long you can stay on. <laughs> it's a challenge. It's a challenge. Okay. So I also like other colors. Like I can put dark in here. Okay. And darker over here. All right. This will, this is a really fun, easy way to do it. So I'll show you in just a minute. Let's get some aqua. All right, not till. These are all till. <laughs> okay, let's do till. All right, so I'm going to put a little bit of till in here and white. We'll put a little bit of dark in here. Okay, because I like the background to be a little bit abstract. All right. All right, so we need to just put a little bit in here. And it's just going to shadow across from side to side. Okay. Okay, we're ready. Now, I, I'll do the edges after we get through. So before I post the picture. Okay. So it's nice to have this back, this edge of this pot not perfect, too. And I'll show you why. See how I fuzzy that out a little bit there? All right. But I, I do want my grapevine to be better. And you notice I'm not cleaning my brush. I'm just jumping in here. So look what happens. All right, that took longer than I wanted, sorry. So, one more time, watch. Really loose vines. Okay. Crisscross, crisscross. Now, you can use any color in the background. That's the fun of this. Um, you can use pinks and earth tones and purples. Somebody said they want some lavender in here. That sounds good. You can do a nice lavender. So look, loose, loose, loose. And then I can put some dark in here, here and there. All right. Thank you, guys. I have been blessed to get to know you. Thank you. I hope I do inspire some of you to do something you haven't done before. Um, it inspires me every time I get to come on and, and you share um, your thoughts and how some people have had such a really hard time, and it's been nice to know that during COVID you were able to paint with me um, and still during COVID <laughs> in some places you're painting with me. That's awesome. And it gives you something when I lost my daughter and it was the day before her 23rd birthday and it's in May. So it's every year. It's one of those days, but I'm telling you, I kind of lost myself in the painting because when I painted a little bit, uh, my sadness just went away. All right. Now, it kind of got a little mucky there. But I want you to see that I can wipe this off. And I was telling you guys, you can use the angle brush. All right. So you can come in here with this angle brush and get really skinny, thin. Um, little, thin, little. Little, thin, little. What does that mean? <laughs> my husband said... You're describing it two different ways. Then at least it's kind of big or not big. He makes fun of the way I say that. But anyway, 
All right, so you see that I'm coming in here with some white, little bits of white gives us this little accent. Let me go a little bit closer so y'all can see. And we are putting flowers on here. The flowers are going to go fast. I just want to show you. And the other thing I've done, see this is big here. But what you can even it up really easy or when we put the flower on, you don't really see that. All right. So now what I'm going to do is we can put a little bird's nest here. I just get carried away. I should stop, shouldn't I? <laughs> All right. So I can come around with this little angle brush and I can make a little few strokes. See, you put the dark in the bottom and then across the front here, look what happens. You can come little teeny strokes, little teeny strokes for the bird's nest. Are you watching? There's all kinds of bird's nests. On my sister's shop, I went and painted every room. I did the nest, the nest for the seagulls and the robin room and all these different rooms. And we painted it on the concrete floor. And they had eggs in them and the names next to them of the type of bird's nest it was. Full of different kinds of eggs. So that was kind of cool. All right. All right, now I need, to, <laughs> I have a new arm and it keeps leaving me and going higher and higher. Thank you for the hearts, guys. Thank you for the thumbs up. You guys keep me going. All right, so I'm going to pounce my scruffy brush. Now, the scruffy brush doesn't get water ever, except when you clean it, okay? So I want you to see, oops. My trunk, I got. I lost some of my trunk with my background, so I'm going to put it back in here. So see, there he is. All right, then I'm going to take a little bit of white to accent it, just a little bit. And do you see how loose I am with this? I'm being really loose and just kind of enjoy the process. See, when I'm going down the side, I'm tipping the brush and I'm tapping it as I'm going down the side. All right, I keep going and get more paint. I like to put a little bit in the nest too, just a little bit. And I can put a little bit down here. The moss is kind of falling out. I know you guys asked me to keep showing you the bottom. So even before you go any further, this is sometimes really cute. And you talked about making a card. You can do this little quick little design on the bottom um, of a greeting card. You can put a little bit of egg or not put a little bit of egg, a little egg in there or not. Just twigs. All right. So. All right. Let's see. I come closer because I want you all to see the um, color better. So see a little bit here. Darker shading here. So the wispy background, I think, just makes it look kind of artsy. And when this dries, I'll show you how I deepen that and make that richer. All right. So I, um, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to use a 16. But many times I use um, a three-quarter because what happens with the three-quarter, if you take and you just use the edges, I mean the chisel, the chisel, chisel. 
actually let me go try to do that here's a three quarter all right all right there we go thank you for the likes i appreciate that thumbs up that's awesome it keeps me going there we go there's magenta and white so i pick up magenta pick up white and come over here and work it in all right more magenta i can even pick up some june berry which is kind of pretty okay so i gotta work that in see that all right so i'm gonna do one right here let's come a little bit lower please stay down here i need to put a weight on here it's moving up <laughs> okay so here's the back pedal all right now i'm going to get some more white now watch what happens here i guess i have to hold you down like me holding you down okay then i'm going to go chop 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 okay All right, so we're going to come here. I'm going to do some more. So you see that I'm going all around. There we go. I'm going to come back and get my white. on the sides see how I'm just laying that lay that there all right okay so now we're gonna slice just little chisels chisel chisel all the way around following the shape okay all right so now let's come down on this other side i'm going to have the dark coming down first okay are you with me <laughs> thank you guys life is art it's always magical that's good all right so then on this side I'm going to come around and I'm going to put a center in there so it looks like it's hanging. I just totally messed up my colors. There we go. This one's going to be hanging down. So when I put my center on that, I think you're going to see better what that's going to look like. I'm going to come right down here and make it dark in the middle. All right. And uh, my problem is I need to go get some more white. All right. Because I lost my white. And so you can see I was getting mucky there. So what you do is you just clean off your brush, guys. And you're going to come back in here and get some of your darker color again. And I'm going to pick up white and make sure I have heavy white on there. Because then when I come back in here, I can get a nice, nice color in there. Then I'm coming around here. Okay, and so that's going to look good when I put the center in. You just can't tell it right now. All right. Now I've got one hanging down, one going up. I'm going to come around here. And doing a couple of big buds. 
because I'm going to put some bright yellows in here and it's going to really help me. Let me get right in here so you can see. All right, are y'all able to see that? Thank you for all the emojis. That is talent when you can hold the camera down and paint at the same time. Well, not so well. I didn't do it so well. But I got to figure out why it's doing that. All right, so I want dark in here just so it looks like it's in the back. And that doesn't look pretty yet, but I promise you, just give me a chance. All right, so I wanted some big flowers. I think I got some big flowers. And we had some people who wanted some purple. All right, so there we go. It's going to come up a little bit, and then it's going to mess up on me. Stay there. Yay. All right. So remember what I said about in here? Right in here. Now I'm going to come in here. You get the depth inside there and the depth under here. And dark under here. You're seeing how we're getting some shading going here. All right. It just gives you, let's come along here and along here. There we go. See that? I can just put an egg in here and it just won't be too great. There we go. At least you know there's an egg. We'll speckle it later. All right. Thank you for the thumbs up, guys. You're awesome. All right. So before I get any further, I just want to show you that if I come in here and I just start putting some yellow... with that dark pink in the background. Okay, so let me get a little bit closer. Little bit of yellow up here. Lots more yellow here. I'm gonna bring that down lower. Let's go down to here. This is my two script liner and I'm just picking up thick yellow and this is daffodil yellow which is a brighter yellow okay so i do have yellow in there but what i'm gonna do is how about a little bit of white with it little touches of white and i'm just trying to get it brighter Little taps. So if you have dark in the background, it helps it show better. And I can even put a little bit of citrus. Okay. Here and there, little bits of citrus. Okay, now the green I want to put on here is I wanted to come and take my 12 and I want to use some yellow with my citrus, making it bright. So I'm going to just do bright leaves. Uh, so I do mix some, look, I can have some teal and some blues. Let's try this darker blue with teal here. Blue and teal. So that's the cobalt and the teal that I'm having fun with there. All right. Now, so I'm kind of putting those underneath before I start doing any more of those citrus ones. Because look, with citrus on here too, it looks good. Instead of just the blue and teal. So 
Oh, I can put a few little leaves in here. Long, a little bit along here. And this can be a bigger, bigger one right here. All right, so just a bigger leaf. And then I can put teal. Let's get blue. Let's put blue along here. And then citrus along here. Are you liking the combination? Thank you. I know. When I started putting the teals, I really like the teals in there. All right. So then I'm going to pull a stem. Look, you're going to pull some stems into the tail. There's even some pink in that leaf. All right, so then let's go back to, cit um, to the um, daffodil and citrus because I think we need some little teeny bright leaves. All right, pull your stems in them. And I like to come in with a smaller brush too. You like to do that? This, I think a smaller brush really adds to it too. All right. So I, I did put strong blue, put a little bit of blue and white over here because I touched it on the side. I could fix that up when I'm doing the outside, but I just want y'all to see what that's looking like. All right. So, let's just sit up close. Oh, can y'all see that? All right. So, one thing that looks good. Um, so, somebody asked for purple. So, I'm going to put a little bit of violet pansy. And some leaves like that look good too, guys. Just violet pansy leaves like silhouetted leaves okay now one thing that's going to help you are you glad you got on today i hope so i hope i did something to make you happy today it'll make my day all right so look i can come along here and add a little bit of darkness now right here already has some darkness but if you i could come around some leaves and shadow see how that just makes the leaves kind of look like they lift all right see how coming around the grapevine just a little bit i show you on my wreath um, lessons how to make all kinds of great wreaths and i have a wreath for every season during the year so it makes it really nice See how that blue kind of pops it up, especially like right here. All right. So let's use a smaller brush and let's get some purple and even some white. This is Violet Pansy Wicker White. And I can have, I got to let this dry some. But I can have some little purple leaves. One, two, three, four. And then have a little stems. So little clusters of purple. See when it gets muddy, look right here, it's all muddy. Just put some darker purple there and there, and it gives you some shades of purple. So I put some purple and citrus, watch. So purple and citrus makes really pretty. Citrus green and some purple. You 
Okay, so you see the difference when you have some of this around it or not? So I have it up here, but then I can come here, down here. Do some over here. So I, I spread some out that has some white in it. And then I'm going to come back and just put uh, Violet Pansy. So I'm going to just come in here and add just the dark Pansy. See how it's kind of trailing out of there? And this, did I tell you that this is a six? All right. So now this is pretty wet still, but now I'm going to put on, and I get a little bit of citrus and purple on top of the sleeve. A little bit here and a little bit there. So I'm looking at a little bit more of a vintage look, you think? And when y'all see the picture, it's even better because um, sometimes it doesn't show as well in here. So I'm going to put a little bit of blue on my egg and some little spots of white on the egg. And I think I need to take my script liner and get some burn umber. Thank you for holding out with me, guys, and painting with me or watching me. Uh, how I love how your canvas comes to life. Yeah, thank you. I swear I'm blind. Need to. Get a bigger monitor, I think. So see how I'm putting some darker vines around inside with my script liner. So to get that nest. See that? Just a few little. I can bring some white in there. And you can have little twigs. See, little twiggy. Yeah, didn't those purple really add to it? And little teeny egg, he's blue with little spots on him. Okay. All right, so now I can come back with a little bit of sap, maybe even some blue, some cobalt. I'm going to roll it. Now, you can't use medium to get it inky. You have to use water, okay? And all the lessons of teaching you the different leaves and all, remember, go to practice strokes, and that's where you learn all of these so you feel comfortable. If I did a stroke that you're like, how how she do that leaf or how she do that rose, go to practice strokes and you can sit there and practice with me and learn how to do it and then come then come and paint with me i also have lots of simple little exercises and relax and paint a lot slower pace and just enjoyable i'm just kind of whipping out something fast right now but when you're practicing with me i try to be slower on practice strokes See, I'm just pulling those little stems together. Now, what I like to do, try to get some inky. All right, so now look. I have little curls coming out. All right, I did it green, but I lots of times I do it the same color as the branches, okay? But these little guys have little vines that trail. All right. 
So you can put those to make the purple attach. Those aren't really shadow leaves. Sometimes you probably see me do shadow leaves. Those are really stroke leaves. Are you liking it? And one of the things I can do is you want to look at this. It's always great to take a picture and then look at it because you see the true look of it that way. All right. But one of the things I like to do is take the brown and white and then come around here and see if I have the fullness I need. It's over here that needs the fullness I see. So see, I've got the brown. If I look at those two, I can kind of see where it needs something. All the way around. So I can still answer some questions. If you have some questions for me, I got to move this closer so I can see. I need to do practice strokes. Went from plain canvas and wow such a beautiful piece now what i do do guys with the canvas i don't usually slip slap it all on like that um the oh you started with the kids from the shopping center that's awesome from hsn and qbc hello melinda tingle this this looks like something you would like to do girl all right so and i take these sponges all right and my painter sponges and I just dampen it with my fingers and then I pick up my paint color and then I slap it on and get texture but I do it with these and it's really fast and then we're ready to go but the teacher had a little bit of problem today she forgot where she was let's see I can just come along here and clean it all up I'm glad you guys like it. It makes me feel good. I did something good today. How many of you have been able to do something good already today? How fun. I got to paint with people that love art. That's a good thing. Yes. So when you're talking to your Heavenly Father and you tell him, I need something for me. Guess what? You can paint. It's fun. All right. Sometimes it was just like, I know I have lots of things I need to get done today, but guess what? This was a me thing. I needed to come on today. And I've tried for two weeks to come on and there's always something in my way. So today I put you first. Me too. I put me first too. <laughs> okay. So see how I could just go and touch everything up. Like just little bits of sponging little bits of color and I love to have movement in the back. Can you see that movement? Little streaks in color. It's darker under there. I have online classes. Um, honey, what you do is I'm not on HSA right now because they're not doing anything right now. And I was on the Canadian shopping channel. Yes, I was. Um, and you're one of my certified instructors. Yay. In Toronto, a long time ago, Miss Sue. Um, I want you to know that I have on onestroke.com on the home page, it says online lessons. And you can do online lessons and you can be live with me. And we have lots of fun. And I got, I'm taking, I'm setting up my May classes. My job today was to get some painting done for May. And um, so the classes, we do four classes for $25 each. And then you get the recording if you can't be there and you can rewatch it, rewatch it. And if you want to pick out one of those classes that's on there already, those are available um, for you and their recordings, and then you can start a library. 
I have stroke studies, which are really good. And they're, but they're like three hours long, but they still, you can make a library and have lots of them. All right. So do you know if the crushed coral acrylic will be coming out in multi-surface? Multi you know what? I think there is a multi-surface that is almost exactly that color, Sandra. Um, I don't know if you have swatch and you can take, uh, you can take a picture of it and send it to Kathy at our office or Amanda Dubery at, at hotmail.com. And uh, they can look for you and tell you what's there. But there is a, some great fire, fire coral. Um, there's, there's a couple different corals and multi-surface that I think will be really close to that. And then what I do do is I take and uh, add little bits of colors together to get the color you want. Thank you. God does bless me. He does. Thank you, though, Fanny. I appreciate that. I think I'm saying these names right. <laughs> My eyes are so blurry right now. You live in Northeast Mississippi. Well, I'm in the outskirts of Orlando near Disney World. But we have lots of fun on the Zoom classes. Melinda's right. We have lots of fun because we get to meet and talk with each other like 15 minutes before class. And then um, everybody starts coming on earlier and earlier. And I get on and they're all there visiting already. But it's really fun. And then um, then I y'all can ask me to do stuff. And I do it right then when you're not sure if you've got it right and all. So and I'm not this fast. <laughs> I slow down so y'all can do it with me. Oh my gosh. Hello from Dubai. Hello. Hello. Um, you're exciting me. Lots of people from all over the world. That makes it awesome. Even more awesome. Right. Uh, I, I think was my trainer. Mirabelle was your trainer, Sue. Yeah. But if it's in Canada, I, I was usually there in Canada. So hello. Hello. Oh, you live in a Koi tree. So come on, girl. We are right in your backyard, so come see me, all right? Well, thank you, guys. I am going to get back to my regular work. Thank you for being here with me. I appreciate it, and we will see you next time.